From the KTC TV3 newsroom, I'm Marcel Fontenot. Here's a look at headlines for this Tuesday, January 12th. Louisiana staying put in modified stage two. Governor Edwards says every region in the state has a COVID positivity rate of more than 10%. We have no doubt um, that here and elsewhere in the country, by the way, the numbers that you are seeing are a direct result of people's actions during the holiday period. 79,000 more people have received the COVID-19 vaccine here in Louisiana since the Department of Health's last update a week ago. Since December 14th, the state has administered over 159,000 vaccine doses, including over 21,000 people who've completed both doses. And the Trump administration is working to speed up vaccine distribution. A slow start triggered widespread concern from states and public health officials. But today, Health and Human Services announced two major changes. First, the government will no longer hold back required second doses of vaccines, practically doubling the supply. And states are also being advised to start vaccinating other groups lower down the priority scale, including people ages 65 and older and younger people with certain health problems. Well, turning now to Baton Rouge, state troopers are preparing for potential demonstrations at the Capitol building. A state police spokesperson says the agency was notified of planned protest. This comes after an FBI bulletin warned demonstrations could start later this week and continue through President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. Well, turning to weather now, another near freezing night, Rob, but warmer weather heading our way, right? That's right, and temperatures for the most part for most areas stay above freezing tonight thanks to clouds moving in, maybe a few sprinkles overnight tonight as we have an upper level disturbance rolling on through. It's going to be chilly, though. Temperatures mid to upper 30s by tomorrow morning. Can't rule out patchy frost, even though uh, most of the cloudy skies out there are actually high clouds, so we could still get a little frost going through tomorrow morning, but sunshine returning for the afternoon should be milder 58 the high and as we head into Thursday, still chilly during the morning, upper 30s to lower 40s, but uh, Thursday afternoon temperatures in the mid top for 60s, but here comes the next front. Not much rain with it, but it's going to ensure breezy and cooler weather moving in as we head into the weekend and that's reflected in the next five days, milder through Thursday, at least during the days and then back down into the 50s for highs, lows in the low to mid 30s next weather maker comes along about Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. That's it for weather and news. We'll have more coming up in just a little bit.